Welcome to my tutorial on using Windows 8 with a, just a keyboard and mouse. First, just introduce you to this layout. That's the modern UI, which is what they're calling it now. Uh, okay, first things first. If you take your mouse to the top right, it comes up with the, the bar down the side. That's the start button, same as the Windows key. You can share uh, your apps with other people in search. Look at your devices. There's no devices at the moment I don't have. And then you can go settings. In your settings you can change your tile so you can see your admins, your network, your sound, your keyboard layout, or how often you get notifications. If you've got like some sort of brightness setting, you can there. If you click power, you've got these options, restart, shut down, sleep. And in PC settings you've got your Windows update, personalization, users, notifications search general it's where you set your time zone and you might have to do some manual adjustment the only problem I found I had to manually adjust the time because it's off by about 16 hours ahead um, not sure this is a store as you can see oh and this is horizontal scroll horizontal scroll lets you go left to right and so forth if you want to use your scroller down goes to right up goes to the left. <clears throat> I'll show you how to install something. So you go to I just go top three smart glass. You click the install button here. When it installs, you can uh, don't close this. Just minimize it. So to do that, you just push the start button. Takes you back to the modern UI. And then in this top corner where my name is, a little screen pop up say uh, smart glass is in, been installed and a tile will show up. These are all tiles here. They can move around, just click one, hold it, you can position them. These bigger tiles you can make smaller, so Skype, right click. Down the bottom you've got unpin, uninstall, smaller, turn live, live tile off. Make that smaller, does that, do it again, make it larger. Only apps you buy from the Microsoft Store will be able to do that. Okay, I'll just get this, let's pop up something else. I'll show you this sports, um, Bing Sports. Brilliant thing if you, yeah I'm a Man United supporter. Um, I'm in the Premier League section, I'll just go back to the start for you. Here's all your latest sports news scores and you can add your favourite teams to the uh, right here. I've added Man United as my favourite Man City only because I just want to see how they go on and see if we're beating them or not. And if you right click on here, all this this uh, bars come up at top. You should look at your home, favourite teams, Premier League, and all your different sports up here. If you click Premier League, it's the uh, only one I've used so far, uh, gives you your fixtures that are still to come, and they convert it to where you live, what time they're playing, um, the ladder, and just stats on that side. Okay, so if we push the Windows key again, come back to this, and here's desktop view. My desktop's located down on the bottom left. So if I push that, it takes me to this desktop view. As you'll notice, there is no more start button on the bottom left. That's that modern UI is now the start button. So if you push the start key, Windows key on your keyboard, it takes it back to this. So you push it again, it goes back to your last open application, which for me was the desktop. And here you can just use it like normal, with minus that start key. You can add it in. I'll do a tutorial on that a bit later on how to do that. But this just works like a normal desktop besides that then. I'll just go back to the main screen. And if you take your mouse to the bottom right, there's this minimize button here. Push that and your modern UI shows up all the things. You can have them stretched for as long as they can and you just click on you want to open to. Because I don't have that many, I can't do it at the moment and just does it that way. These are all live tiles too, so as you notice, they'll move one at a time. If I bring my mouse to the top left, there it comes up with my last open app. So that's that. If I come down just a bit to the next one, this comes out and you can see all my apps. So what I've opened, I can go straight to the sporting from here, do it again, I can go to the store. And here's the new, I can snap stuff to the left or the right, Just right click you can close it snap left snap right I snap it to the left you can see my desktops there and it's, if I go like that with just this little thing here 
you can change that to be snapped or that to be snapped and I'll change it to something that's a bit more friendly for the snapping snap left oh see calendar perfect yeah so I'll go like that look the store just sits there like that but it's really good especially when you're messaging with the messenger app they come up there and you can be searching whatever you want on the other half it's probably one of the best features I've seen so far and you can just it's very simple set out easy to use with a keyboard some people don't reckon you can't use it but I've had no problems with it at all so far so last thing go back to the desktop start key you'll be using that all the time just to switch between your last open app and your Metro UI so that's the end of Oh, no. If you come to the bottom left, it also shows your last open application, which be when you push the start key is the one it comes up to. Let's open up something else just so we can compare it. So it takes it back to modern UI, put it again, comes back up here. If I go down there, or go up there, it shows you the one what will happen if I push the start button, or you can just click them there and it'll take you straight there. So that thing I forgot to show you guys is had to add these tiles to the desktop. So what you can do, you can right click, go all apps, it shows you everything you've got. This is the other really nice feature I like, your keyboard. Instead of going start, searching for what you're looking for, you can just start typing so and just comes up like that. On the right you've got your different options. You can look at your apps, your settings, or your files. If I go back to my apps, it's got Adobe Audition. I just right click on that. I can pin it to start, pin to taskbar in the desktop view. I can uninstall it, open a new window, run as administrator, or open file location. I'll just pin that to the start for now. So it's it. if you can see it's been here, I can make a new column just by doing that. I can, or doing that even. I can add it there, you can pretty much move them anywhere. It's a really nice feature where you can move your tiles wherever you really want them to be. Um, so yeah, F don't forget to subscribe for more Windows 8 tutorials. And remember if you see one you want to watch, just down below, comment. Don't forget to like and add this to your favourites.